Hi everyone, uh, in this video we will see how to install LaTeX in Linux. Uh, what do we have to do? Uh, what are the things actually first of all we have to install uh, to get our uh, LaTeX running in our uh, Linux system? Is the first one is the compiler and the second one is an IDE. It's kind of interpreter that it will send the commands to the compiler to, serve, to, run, the comp to run the particular document and give the output. Uh, so the compiler which I have chosen is something called Tech Live. There are uh, there is one more uh, alternative that's called as uh, Mic Tech that also you can choose. Uh, but Tech Live is most popular and of course most reliable than the uh, Mic Tech in terms of uh, uh, Linux systems. Of course, Mic Tech is also followed by many of the large, large amount of communities. So you can go with that, go ahead with that as well. So we are going to install uh, Tech Live today. And the IDE purpose as well, uh, for the interpreter, we have a couple of other options as well. Uh, I'm going to go with something called Tech Studio. We have something called Tech Maker. We have something called uh, Kyle. We have, uh, 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 we have uh, of course, many other uh, things are there. There are many other uh, documents are there. It is simply a notepad file itself will help, help us to make some tech, tech documents. Our uh, VS Code itself is giving you another document. Uh, all the way. Uh, what we are trying to say is uh, there is a compiler should be installed and there is an IDE should be installed. So it doesn't matter what you are installing. That's all it means. So in this video, what we are going to install is something called Tech Live, and uh, for the IDE purpose, we are going to install something called uh, Tech Studio. So to install Tech Live, there are two versions or two options you have. Uh, one is to install the complete uh, Tech Live version, which will again take around 7.2 GP of your uh, disk space. Which I usually think that it's overwhelming, which is not required for most of us. Uh, we mostly want like to have to stick to with, uh, what is the basic packages and recommended one. Uh, so here comes option two for us. Uh, there we can install only the required uh, packages and required items. That's all we are going to do right now. So let's get started then. So I have my terminal open here. Uh, I am in the Linux. So uh, Mint uh, with the x phase edition. Uh, any Debian version will work. So all the commands whichever I'm going to run, uh, any Debian version you can run it. Uh, which I mean is uh, all the Ubuntu versions, all the Linux versions will, uh, all the Linux Mint versions, everything will work just fine. Okay. Uh, so let's of course first start with uh, updating our package repositories. Just go ahead and do that. Because I have a notes here in my uh, job lane. Uh, I will be, of course, posting all of this in the description box. You can go ahead and copy and run that file. Okay. So all that while what I have done here is I have just uh, done this command: sudo app get update, which will update my repository. Uh, then, as I mentioned, I am not going ahead with the uh, full installation. So whereas I am going to go ahead with the recommended installation. So to do that, let's type sudo app get uh, install just uh, tech like. Uh, again, I want to mention that if you'd like to install the complete tech live version, uh, if you are having enough number of space in your laptop, uh, you can just append hyphen full and that will install the complete version. Uh, what I want to do was I just wanted to install the recommended version. Uh, let me click uh, enter and that should, of course, uh, if you have not installed it, it will ask you to install that. Uh, of course, uh, if you are using it for the first time, it might ask your password to enter. Uh, since you are uh, using your sudo command here over here. Uh, so just go ahead and start installing it. That's all. So I have already installed here. That's why it is uh, so quicker for me. Uh, the amount, the, what are the things that's been installed using this command tech live is I have opened up uh, their uh, official documentation over here. Uh, over here they say if you run this command, this will install tech live latex recommended, tech live fonts recommended. Tech Live LaTeX base and Tech Live base. All right. So it is actually installing whatever is required for us as a recommended package. So we may not need the complete one. That's all it is. Right. Uh, however, I also wanted to install something called Tech Live LaTeX extra uh, because I might be using some other packages from that. Uh, pretty much uh, uh, many things uh, like the title sake or some other packages like e toolbox. Everything is planned in that. So I also wanted to install that. So let me install that as well. Uh, I don't want the anything else other than that. So suppose if you want a support for your own uh, region language, then you can check for uh, tech live language and hyphen and whatever the language you have. So 
so you can go ahead and typing it so uh, pretty much every language has been I mean, pretty much most popular language has been supported by tech like so you can go ahead and install that as well so that when you are typing in the document it will be easy for you to give the encoding and other stuff to that so i'm going to install this tech live latex extra as well along with the tech live so let me go to my command line and type sudo app get install tech live uh, latex uh, extra so uh, you you may not you do not have to really type that as i am giving in the, all the commands in the text uh, text description box you can just go ahead and type copy and paste it all right so let me go to my notes uh, that's all it takes so now if i type uh, simply tech underscore uh, hyphen hyphen version and that should show some version like this so it depends on your uh, distribution it might take the recent version which has been there in their own repositories correct uh, i guess uh, ubuntu 20.0 on 04 onwards it does gives you tech live 2021 right now i am with the linux mint and it gives me 2019 uh, again uh, as long as the version number actually increases uh, the amount of these packages is also getting increases so i'm pretty much okay with 2019 itself which gives me around somewhere around 2 gp data that's okay fine uh, so let me clear the screen so what we have done right now here is we have installed the latex here uh, to check that also we have done it uh, i of course uh, there is something called pdf latex is also installed along with that so if i run that uh, that also gives you some version number as long as it gives a version number you are good to go fine so let me clear this oh. the way you check that is of course just by checking the version number or you can compile a document uh, i have a test document to show you uh, if i go to my downloads and uh, test here i have a text document let me delete everything else i keep only the uh, text uh, file over here let me uh, change my directory to test and this run pdf uh, latex on that uh, test.tech and that is runs if you notice here output return on this test.pdf if you go to your folder remember i we have we were deleting this in fact earlier now from this file it has been actually generated uh, that shows that uh, this uh, latex installation has been working fine uh, i understand any every time we cannot go ahead and compile like this because this is just a command where command line way of writing it uh, what we wanted to do was we want to install an ide so as i mentioned in this video we are going to install something called tech studio uh, how we are going to install the tech studio again if i go back to my notes uh, the way you install the tech studio is uh, of course multiple one is uh, uh, sometimes for your own distribution the debian file itself is available uh, for my debian distribution i tried but the debian distribution was not available so what i did was uh, the easiest way to add it if you are not having any uh, debian files then you add a pp ppa and then uh, you install from that uh, so it's a kind of repository that you can take up it so the way you add the ppa over here for text studio is uh, just by running this command so this is simply sudo app get repository so paste it sudo app get repository ppa sundar me slash text studio that's all it is so it's just an username of that particular person who is maintaining that repository all right so that will add the repository to your uh, repository file and remember you need to press enter to continue that does adds it and once that is added that uh, you can again uh, refresh your repository just by typing sudo app get update and that will rep uh, refresh it uh, make sure yeah so make sure that uh, remember i have here ppa launchpad sundar me text studio has been also been attached so now this uh, repository is available for me so what i can do here is i can install the text studio from this so simply sudo app uh, get install text studio this is available for me. so again i have already installed it so that's why it says that text studio is already the newest version uh, for you it might install that uh, once uh, that has been installed uh, i guess uh, that's all how pretty much everything is fine uh, so as i have mentioned there are a lot of different versions of tech live packages available so what we have installed is the recommended version uh, it's a very smallest version possible uh, if you want to read about uh, more uh, what is the different type of packages and what it gives 
I have a link here in the description, which is uh, something like this. You can go to that uh, version here. I have opened here in the Google Chrome here. The differences between Tech Live packages and Linux. So you can go ahead and read this. Uh, a lot of answers have been there. It's just, of course, uh, one year old, uh, but this uh, that's the major point. So you can go ahead and read that. What is the difference between these different packages? So whatever we have installed will work fine. So remember, we also have to check the IDE. So to check uh, what we have done is whether correctly fine or not. Uh, you can also check with uh, something like Tech Studio hyphen hyphen version after installing it, and that should say some version like this. Uh, as long as it gives you some version, which means that it has been working. You also double check that by going to your um, file. Uh, you're going to your uh, win, not Windows, of course, by pressing the Windows button. As long as I have. Uh, let me open the same file which I wanted to test. Remember, it is under the downloads and test file. And then just go ahead. I, I don't have anything, okay. Simply I have some uh, text and simply I might be using some uh, fonts and simply I might be using some text figures or something like that. Uh, let me compile this by pressing this button and that does give you the output. Uh, remember, there was nothing in the uh, test folder. Uh, if I want, I can even delete that one more time. So remember, only text file is available here. And if I recompile this, and that gives me the remaining files over here, which means it works fine. Uh, I guess that's all for the video. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, I hope you have achieved installing the uh, LaTeX in the Linux system. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching.